with the ninth pick of the first round of the 2016 MLS Super Draft, Toronto FC select the Tom Fitzgerald MLS Player Combine MVP from the University of Maryland, right down the road, midfielder Subaya Subasa Endo. Going back to the Jack Harrison thing, uh, it, Russ, here's the thing. Jack Harrison wanted to go to New York City. He wanted to go there. Now, I find this to be interesting for Jack Harrison and his career. He needs space. If he's going to play out wide, now he's playing at Yankee Stadium. This is an interesting choice. Now, Let's, Endo let's go back other, to that in a second. Yeah, let's it, talk about this. Yeah, yeah, Endo was the MVP of the combine. Yep. And, and the one thing about Endo calling Maryland games, knowing that staff, is they said time and time again, when the ball got in the final third, he was their most dangerous player whether it was making the final decision whether it's finishing the playoff he's good with both feet my only criticism of endo is he plays at the same pace the entire game but this kid at the combine turned some heads T technically he's a good player and in the final third he's special question is where does he play in mls is he a number 10 in mls or does he have to go out wide i talked to coaches who were on both sides of that debate some said yes he can be a 10 in mls some said he's going to have to go out wide so i'm really curious to see what Vanny and Toronto have in store for him. It, it, I am too. It, what strikes me about him is his ability to pop up in the right spot over and over and over again. He's so smart about that, and he lets he lets other guys dictate the game and, and plays to their strengths. And I think you could do that with Michael Bradley, with Sebastian Javinko, with Will Johnson, with Jose Altator. So he could help in that way. The concern is that the guys I just named, they love to switch the field. Mm -hmm. They love to make the game big. That's not what Endo can do. He uh, he struggles to complete passes over 20 yards. He just doesn't have He's that kind of range. He's a depth player, though. Remember, yeah, Copa America true. World Cup qualifiers, when you look at their roster, they will be missing some players a lot. I, I don't think Endo's coming in to start right away, no. but I think he's a depth player that can provide something off the bench, particularly in possession. I'm okay with the pick. However, going into this offseason, didn't we always say Toronto needs help defensively? We'd be remiss to say they didn't pick. They picked up Betashore. Yep. They picked up Drew Moore. They yeah. kind of addressed the, that, yeah. and they got rid of Kentari. So, Jonathan, they've gone after the defensive side of things. I yeah. think they just went with the best player here. Yeah, I think their defense is settled, and we're, we're past the point in the draft where we're picking starters now. And right. Th this is yes. the reality of today's draft. Seven picks, not even that. Our guys are going to definitely contribute year one. I mean, Endo doesn't even have a contract yet. Right, so he's yeah, got to go to camp and prove team. himself. Yeah. There are some seniors who are signed. He's not one of them. Uh, so I'm with you, Taylor. Toronto has already done its work on the defensive side. Mm -hmm. They're just picking best available.